Yo, what up? It's your boy Marvel from Beats. How you guys doing? Uh, it's been a minute. I am doing this video by request. It's a quick tutorial on how to separate your drums in Beatmaker 3. Uh, just to let you guys know, I will be doing more videos, more tutorials uh, on BM3, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, but I want to go ahead and jump into it with this video because this is an important thing to me when using Beatmaker 2 or Beatmaker 3, and that is on how to separate your drums and to make them sound nice. All right. So as you can see, I already have my drum set up and I just got a little simple little pattern that I put together. All right, got a look pattern going on, nothing too fancy. Uh, I just want to use that so I can show you guys uh, on how to separate these joints. Now, for those that know me, it's an important thing for me to have my kick, my snare, my hi-hats, and whatever else on its own separate channel. Reason being, I like the freedom to be able to mix. Uh, I have did a video on how to separate the drums in Beatmaker 2 when I was working for Machine Masters, and I just thought it would be right to do another video for Beatmaker 3. Now, one thing about Beatmaker 3, you, even though you might have the 116 pads here, you can, you can individually mix it in the mixer. It's just a matter of tapping on the channel, and then you'll see everything is separate here. And I can go in and add EQ if that's the case, if you know, if I want to do that. Let me show you this. If you don't tap on the 16 pads, what's going to happen, you're going to add those effects to the whole drum machine. If you want to do separate EQ, you have to tap on the 16 pad and then hit that. And then you will hear it. hit that's the difference so i just input i did an eq individually on the kick and that's cool i just don't like doing it that way you know uh because when it, when when you come when it comes to exporting you have to make sure everything is highlighted blase blase you have to go into all then hit the button and then hit all of that i don't like all that if I have my snag kick and all that, I can just do that all at run, one rip. So this is optional if you choose to do it this way. And if you don't, uh, it's just a preference that I like. It just makes it easier for me. So to get out of there, I just go here and then I'm out. So how do we get these drums separated? What I need to do first, I need to go ahead, go in. And I needed to open up another drum kit. It's a drum kit that I made from BM2. Hit load. All right. I got that loaded. Then I'm going to go and add one more for my hats. And then let me go ahead and add this hold on that because that's going to be my hi-hat channel. So then I go here, go to the main screen. And shout out to my homie Cheese. Um, from Beatmaker is the squad because I initially asked him on how to separate it, separate the drums, and he showed me the technique. But then he called me asking me, "How do I get him not to sound get the drums sounding muddy?" So, uh, shout outs to my man Cheese. I like to give honor where honor where honor is due. He the one who put me on game. But now I'm coming back to show you guys the technique that I use uh, because the problem that sound like he's having is that the drums sound muddy and we don't want no muddy drums. So what we're going to end up doing, if you see, we got one, two, three, um, three separate tracks. So I'm going go to go to the first. One. I'm going to go to the one that I have the drum pattern. I'm going to tap at the top here where it says playing song. That's going to light up. Then I'm going to go down to pattern three. 
So you got two of the same, and then I'm gonna go to drum machine B, which is gonna be my hats, drag it and bring it there like I just did. And I'm gonna play it just to make sure. All right, so now what happens, I'm going to hit edit, close out my screen here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit select, and I'm going to start taking stuff out. Take out the snare, take out them hats. Only thing I have here is my kick. Y'all probably should be catching, grabs and on to what I'm doing. I'm going to hit edit, do the same thing here. Take out the hats, take out the kick, just have my snare. Go back, do the same thing here. Take out my kick, take out my snare, and I just have my hats. So when I once I play it, this is what we have. Got my hats. Got my snare. And then I can go add in that EQ. on my snare some I have some EQs already set that I have that I already have made and I'm gonna do one for the hat I can go and add a reverb. And that reverb is just on that kick. On that on the snare, I'm sorry. And so yeah. That's how you separate the drums and get a clean sound out of it. Remember, you have to, once you get the patterns on the channels, you have to go in and you have to hit select and select what, whatever you don't want on there. I typically always do snare, I mean kick, snare, right? hi-hats, and if I have crash, tums, percussions, whatever, I just go down the line and I create my individual drums that way. So hopefully uh, this was useful to you guys. Some of you may say, well, I don't care about that. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, well, I did the video for those that do care about that and think it's a big deal to have the drum separate so and then let me show you this when i go to export hit i'll i always do 16-bit normalize hit the tracks boom i ain't got to go into this individual because it's just the kick the snare the hats and whatever else i may have all right and <clears throat> that's my stems right there hit export and I'm good. All right. So please, you guys, give me a thumbs up. If you liked the video, thumbs down. If you didn't, uh, like I say, I will have more videos on Beatmaker 3 coming real soon. Uh, it's a dope app. I've been hearing a lot of mix, uh, mixed vibes, mixed feelings about it. Uh, I think it's just like with anything that you're learning. You, know, you just have to figure it out. Uh, even through the beta testing, uh, I found myself you know getting really frustrated and just like yo man it just sucks <laughs> yeah i'll be honest you know what i'm saying i have to be honest with you guys uh but as i continue to tackle um the program and learn it um i have grown to really uh, like this joint uh, for those that have been following me on instagram you can see that i'm mixing i've been mixing uh, my beat tape that I'm putting out mid-October. Uh, I'll be 
dropping a uh, beat tape um, middle oct middle August. I'm sorry, middle August. So you guys be on the lookout for that. But the reason I'm just I'm displaying all those things is to show you uh, what you can do within this program. And I will be having more uh, videos coming on. I will be doing a. Uh, I'm still gonna do a beat maker two course. I still will do that because. We still, I still know a lot of producers that are using Beatmaker 2. There's still a lot of dope things in Beatmaker 2. And from the powers that be over at Intui, uh, there are going to be more updates to BM, Beatmaker 2. So don't count it all the way out. They got some updates that, that they're going to uh, be having for Beatmaker 2. So don't rule it out. It's still in the mix. I, I have both of them. Uh, so I'm going to have some courses going on. Um, and I'm going to be having short tutorials like this. Alright. You guys have a great week. Uh, if you have any questions man. Or if there's anything that you guys wanna, want me to tackle. Or to discuss. Uh, please leave me a comment below. Or hit me up on my Instagram. Uh, Marv1977. That's me. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Alright. Grace and peace.